Hey guys, I'm getting ready to head out. I'm in Houston, Texas, gonna head to Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Yep, it's that time of year. Chili Challenge 2023. Stick around, hope you like the video. I don't know about you, but when we head out on a wheeling trip, I just get so excited the drive doesn't even bother me. We've got just shy of a thousand miles to go, and then we'll be there hitting the rocks. All right, first stop, sort of first food stop, Sonora, loves. You know, the further you drive west on I-10, the trees just get smaller and smaller until they turn to tumbleweeds. It's pretty crazy. All right, day one travel day. We made it to the Hampton Inn. There it is. And Van Horn. I'll see you in the morning. All right, howdy YouTubers. Welcome to Casey Crawls. We're almost to uh, Caballo Lake um, State Park. We got to go through a checkpoint. So I figured I'd get it on video. These guys are working their tails off the border uh, patrol. So northbound on I-25, I got this checkpoint. I'll flip you around. We'll see if we're, they're gonna stop us and take a look or just wave us through. Typically, they just wave us through. I guess we go. Big green sign says go. I guess they're all on the border. Well, anybody there? That's weird. Well, as we pulled in the state park, we ran across a few people going out to pre-run some trails. Lucky dogs. Alright guys, we are here. We are here at the Chili Challenge Caballo Lake State Park Riverside Campground. And we're set up. I got my camper over my shoulder here. And it's time for dinner. Only the best at Casey Crawls. These are gourmet hot dogs. Yes, you saw it here first. The one, the only gourmet hot dog from Walmart. We got any chili, Shane? I do not have any chili. I got beans. You got beans, huh? No, oh, I don't need beans. No beans. Just dogs. All right, guys, it is, uh, what day is it? Tuesday morning. The Chili Challenge has not started, but we are going to hit the trail and go hit one called Godzilla. We did it uh, a couple of years ago. It's pretty decent, easy, good trail to cut your teeth on. So stick around and uh, we'll get on the trail here shortly. Thanks. All right, so far we're making it on Godzilla. So we'll call this, really weren't planning to do much today. We'll call it day zero. And uh, there's nine rigs, actually eight now. One, one just stopped, he was getting hot. And uh, so far so good. I think we're coming up to the first obstacle. I don't know what it is, but uh, so far it's pretty easy. A lot of road miles to get here. That's the only thing I don't like about some of these trails. They're way out there from our campground. It takes a while to get out there and uh, get get to the trailhead. And these these buggies just don't do too good on the highway. So at any rate, we'll get up here and check out the first obstacle and see what it looks like. 
So I think this is the first obstacle. We'll see. Dang. It's a mess just walking up here. All right, here's Ernie. I've done it before once it was dark and it was a long day so I don't remember it that well <laughs> let's see how it goes now this is Lauren in this Toyota buggy it started off as a uh, believe a forerunner Lauren runs a uh, fabrication business and he builds these things he uh, ended up trail guiding on our last day, we did uh, can opener and war path. So if you want to see those, uh, keep watching. We'll have those up in the next couple of weeks. This is a great trip. Awesome place to wheel. Highly recommend it. And these, this is uh, this group of folks, just a great group of uh, guys to wheel with. Here's Shane going up that first obstacle. It's kind of funny. You'll see in just a little bit he'll activate his rear steer. And he's asking his spotter if he should uh, turn his rear steer left or right. And it looks like the spotter didn't realize his uh, back end turned. Uh, they, uh, they're trying to get him up just like any other drag axle. But uh, it is kind of humorous. Once he, once he engages the rear end, uh, he's up easy peasy. So back in the buggy, we got up the first obstacle. I, I thought it would just be like a little climb. Holy guacamole. Of course, I never get myself on my camera, so hopefully I can link up with somebody and get some video. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So Godzilla definitely did not disappoint. Great, great obstacle. Got some good video of Shane too. So off to the next one. We'll see what the day holds. This is a good trail. All right, guys, you're not going to believe this. So we're back on the trail. I didn't get it on video, 
but I came down really hard on my lower link on the front axle and I busted a heim joint at the shank right in half. So we've been sitting here for about three hours waiting for somebody to bring out a heim joint. And uh, fortunately we got it back on the trail. So I'll put some pictures here and you'll see, uh, see what it looked like, but could have been a lot worse. Man, we got some great guys we're wheeling with called back to camp and they ran one out here about a, I don't know a 45 minute drive just to get to the trailhead so these are some good dudes Las Cruces four wheel drive club man shout out to you guys That's one way to do it. Oh, oh. Oh, that rock is gonna fuck everything. Now it's gonna go right in the hole. He fucking did that. That was a, that was a big rock. Time just a little bit more this way. Huh? We're actually about to 